This may sound like a typical classical concert, but in this new piece called Allele, each choir member is singing part of their own genetic code. The notes were mapped from the sequence of bass pairs in a gene linked to ability as a performing artist. Because everybody's got two versions of each of their genes, then there may be one or, or two different copies at different length in the DNA sample, and that's the information that which is sent to, to Michael, the composer, um, to use as his variation for each of the individual members of the choir. But the singer's DNA samples weren't taken just to create a musical score. Here at King's College London, they're being used to study why some people are more musical than others. What we've done so far is take about 250 singers, including the choir, and 250 people who ostensibly aren't musical. We compared what their DNA around this gene looked like in those who were musical or singers and those who weren't. So is our musical ability written in our genes? Some evidence shows that it runs in the family, but it's also likely to be influenced by our environment. It's difficult to know who non-musical people really are. Is it because they haven't been given the right cues very early on? Uh, I mean, if you look at some cultures, they, they teach music to everybody and uh, you know, everybody can play the violin. Whether they can get perfect pitch is a totally different kind of story. The people sampled may not be truly representative, but the team has still found variations between the two groups. It's really at the very beginning of the analysis, but there are maybe one or two little mild indications that something is slightly different, but it's not really terribly significant at the level at which we've analyzed it so far. Now they will look at how this gene fragment and 15 other ones interact with another gene. It's a gene that helps the happiness chemical, serotonin, move between neurons in the brain. But in the meantime, the team hopes the new piece will get people interested in DNA. It definitely shows the variability that we have within our genes and it's a very elegant way of expressing that.